So in this question, you're being asked to calculate the total real power in a three phase unbalanced load. So I've just done a quick sketch of the circuit given in the question here, and we'll fill in the information from the question now. So we're told that on this phase here, we have a line current of six amps with a power factor of 0 0.8. And on second phase, we have eight amps with a power factor of 0 0.9. And on this phase here, we have 10 amps with a power factor of 0 0.7. And we're also told that the phase, sorry, that the line voltage, as in the voltage across two phases, is 400 volts. So what are we going to have to do here to answer this question? Well, it wants the total real power for all three phases. But as it says, this is an unbalanced load. Right, so we have different loads flowing in each phase. So the trick here is to treat each of these individually. Work out the real power for each one of the, each phase and then add them together to get the total. So first thing we need to do is work out, well, if this is the line voltage, what would be the phase voltage across each phase? Well, we know the line voltage is 400 volts. And then we can work out our phase voltage. So that'll be our line voltage over the square root of three. And that works out at 230.94 volts. So that's the voltage across any phase at our star point or our neutral. So we actually have about 231 volts here, 230.94 volts. So with this phase voltage and the line currents, we can work out the power in each load or the power in each phase. So let's do it for the first phase on phase OR. And the power in phase OR is going to be the voltage across that phase, which is the phase voltage, times the current in that phase, which is the same as the line, times the power factor in that phase. So we have 230.94, that's our phase voltage we worked out, multiplied by IR, which is six amps, multiplied by our power factor. So remember our power factor is equal to the cause of the phase. So our power factor here is 0 0.8. If you put that into your calculator, it works out at 1,108.5 watts, because this is real power, P. Now we just repeat that process for each individual phase. Power in our S phase. We begin the phase voltage times the phase or line current, they're the same here because it's star connected, times the power factor. So 290.94. Line current here is 8 amps. Power factor is 0 0.9. That works out at 1,662.8 watts. Now for the final phase. Power in phase T. Again phase voltage times line current times the power factor. Two hundred and thirty point nine four for our phase voltage. 10 amps this time for our line current and our power factor is 0 0.7 and that works out at 1616.6 watts so now if we want to get the total power we just add these together
these three numbers here and we get out 4,387.9 watts so that's our total real power just to recall remember apparent power is V by I and our real power is V by I times cosine of theta where this value here is the power factor.